Nation Star Mortgage CEO Jay Bray joining me on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. And Jay, you have your ear to the floor when it comes to the mortgage market. You know, I've been noticing that financial conditions have actually eased over the past year and a half, two years, even though the Fed has raised interest rates. Why is this happening? Well, I think it's a combination of things. You know, home equity has improved since the crisis. Actually, today there's 14.2 trillion of equity, and that's more than the pre-crisis level. So equity's strong, supply is low. So that actually, you know, means people are really want housing. It's it's the supply demand equations out of balance. But how worrisome is the fact that consumer debt is now more than it is now than it was in 2008? It is worrisome, I think, and again, I think what people are going to do is they're going to look to their home equity. I mean, at the end of the day... Isn't that a problem? <laughs> <laughs> well, as long as it's done responsibly, right? I mean, you, there's the savings is compelling. I mean, if you have student loan debt, credit card debt, those rates are 15%, 20%, and you can refinance your mortgage at 3.8, 3.9, the savings are compelling. It has to be done responsibly. The good news is there's not a lot of crazy products out there, right, like there was in the crisis. I think there's enough products and enough regulation now that it'll be stable. So when you look under the hood at the mortgage market, you don't see any warning signs that we saw, you know, pre-2008? No, I really don't. I mean, at the end of the day, still 90% of the mortgages being done are government, so Fannie, Freddie, FHA. But isn't that a problem because you don't need as much to put down on those loans? Well, the FHA, you know, could be a problem, right? It is high LTV, but the Fannie and Freddie product, that credit quality is exceptional. And we're not seeing really any indication of early loan, you know, early payment defaults. Delinquencies are, you know, back to pre-crisis levels. They're very low. So we don't see any warning signs at the moment. Let me ask you about millennials. We know they have been late to the game when it comes to the housing market, just in terms of buying properties. Obviously, they're burdened with student loan debt and other financial pressures. Do you think millennials will eventually buy homes, perhaps just at a later date? Because we see reports and surveys how millennials just aren't interested in buying homes anymore. Do you agree with that? I don't. You know, really, if you look at some recent studies, 80% of millennials, they want to own a home. So I actually think, it, you know, the problem is about 68% of them have saved, not, haven't saved enough money. So I think they will buy. It's going to take a little longer. Uh, and I think, you know, they started marriage a little later, having kids a little later, but they're coming for sure. All right. Well, we'll look forward to it. Jay Bray, thanks so much. Thank you. Yeah.